my PU2 aspirants, so we are just left with few days for our final PU board examinations, right? Now, how do you write in the exam? Depends on how much you are able to recall in the examination hall. And to recall everything properly in the examination hall, something that we required very much is our revision, okay? So, in this video, I'll be telling you how you are going to revise in this last few days of the exam so that everything that you have studied will be recalled in your exam and you will be able to present that in your paper. So yes, welcome to today's video and those students who find this problem that they study a lot of things but at the exam, uh, in the exam hall they became blank and they are not able to recall the things. So this problem will be solved in this video, okay. So first let me tell you what all things we have in today's video we are going to discuss. So first I will be telling you how you should revise okay what is the proper and correct strategy to revise the content and how can you do it smartly second we'll be talking about a day wise revision plan we all make study plan right what we are going to study and how we, what all topics we are going to cover but we do not make revision plan so in this video i'll be giving you a six day revision plan as well next the revision plan will include these subjects major subjects pc mb and third we'll be talking about techniques to boost retention okay so once we have revised what else we can do so that whatever we have learned whatever we have revised we can uh, like retain it for a longer period of time and next we will be discussing what mistakes we should avoid during revision and lastly how you should be revi revising on the last day that is one day before exam what all things we should be doing so these are the most important things that we are going to discuss today so coming to first thing that is effective revision strategy okay so revision is important but uh, doing revision in with a proper strategy will be more beneficial so for the first thing that you should keep in mind is plan your revision okay like you make study plan you should have a proper planning of which day which chapter how many questions what all things you are going to revise in that particular chapter so that plan i'll be giving you in this video second thing is focus on high weightage topics so our focus always should be while revising and completing the high weightage topic so for example if you are studying uh, physics okay so you should focus on revising the high weightage topics like your uh, electrostatic potential electric charges and fields if you are revising organic chemistry you have to focus on the halo alkenes chapter aldehydes chapter chapter alcohol chapter rather than biomolecules which is having less weightage okay next we have to prioritize your weak area so in this see one chapter you have done the whole chapter will not be difficult for you there will be certain point in a chapter which will be difficult for you for example if i take electrochemistry chapter nurse equation might be difficult for some of the students whereas faraday's law will be direct formula based that will be easier for some of the students so when you are revising you have to revise on the weak areas of high weightage topics okay so focus on weak areas of uh one second yes focus on weak areas of high weightage topics okay now the fourth thing that we have to keep in mind is use short notes so we are not going to revise now from the ncrt book or from any other reference book you should have short notes for revision so if you haven't make your short notes yet so please start preparing your short notes and these short notes are very very useful during revision at the time of the exam next we have is solve questions so it is not that you should just see your short notes and read the short notes that is not a proper or effective revision effective revision will come if you suppose you have studied a concept you solve questions on those concept okay so what is your target here while revising it is not reading the short notes again rather it is solving questions okay now after this i'll be giving you a day wise plan so as we know our exam is starting from 1st of March to when many of the students will be writing the Kannada exam. So 27th and 28th you have to focus on Kannada exam only. So from today till 26th you should be studying and revising other subjects. So how are we going to revise? So the first thing that is on 22 of February okay 22nd February here I want you to revise physics all the formulas. Okay, revise all the chapters, all the formulas only and then solve PYQs of high weightage chapters like electric charges and field and electric potential. Last five years PYQs just solve them. Okay, 
नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू केमिस्ट्री इन केमिस्ट्री यू ओनली हैव टू रिवाइज ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री ओके एंड दैट टू ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री विच चैप्टर फर्स्ट थ्री चैप्टर दैट इज हेलो एल्केस एंड हेलो अरिन्स बाय एल्कोहल्स फिनॉल्स एंड ईथर्स एंड एल्डीहाइड्स किटोन्स एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड सो वॉट ऑल दिस थ्री चैप्टर्स आर देर हेलो एल्केस एल्कोहल्स एंड एल्डीहाइड्स राइट नेक्स्ट डे यू विल रिवाइज अ माइंस ओके लेट मी फिनिश फॉर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड सो ऑन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड यू विल बी रिवाइजिंग बायोलॉजी सो इन बायोलॉजी सॉरी इन बायोलॉजी यू हैव टू रिवाइज ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन मॉलिकुलर बेसिस ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड वेरिएशन सो वेन आई एम सेइंग दैट यू हैव टू रिवाइज हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू रिवाइज इफ यू हैव मेक एनी शॉर्ट नोट्स जस्ट जस्ट गो थ्रू दैम एंड आफ्टर दैट स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग पी वाई क्यूज ऑफ लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स हियर ऑल्सो यू हैव टू सॉल्व पी सो इन दिस बायोलॉजी बिकॉज दिज आर बिग टॉपिक्स आई एम टेलिंग यू जस्ट टू रिवाइज दिस टॉपिक्स टूडे ओके मीन्स ऑन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड एंड फॉर फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री यू हैव टू रिवाइज एज वेल एज सॉल्व द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ओके ना कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट डे ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ फेब्रुवरी हियर यू हैव टू रिवाइज मूविंग चार्जेस एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओके एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम आफ्टर रिवाइजिंग दिस सॉल्व फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ पी वाई क्यूज ओके दिस मच वी हैव टू डू नाउ कमिंग टू केमिस्ट्री यू हैव टू रिवाइज अ माइंस एंड डी एंड एफ ब्लॉक बाय मॉलिक्यूल्स आई एम नॉट गिविंग यू टू रिवाइज बिकॉज दैट इज नॉट अ हाई वेटेज टॉपिक यू कैन रिवाइज अ माइंस डी एंड एफ ब्लॉक एंड सॉल्व हियर फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ पी वाई क्यूज ओके After this, biology you have revised on twenty second. I one day you need time for your brain to uh, re uh, re recall everything, whether you have re remembered or not. So next day you have to solve five years of PYQs, okay? And other high weightage topic, if you find anything is difficult for you, you can revise. So with this, see in this. Two days, you are not revising the entire syllabus, but we are revising the high weightage topics. Clear? So please do not do any other topic. Just focus on revision of these important topics. Now coming to twenty fourth, twenty fifth, and twenty sixth. As you know that your next exam after Canada will be maths, and you have just one day left for your maths exam, so you have to give more importance to maths at this point of time. So I want twenty fourth, twenty fifth, and twenty sixth. you have to revise your integration differential equation matrices derivatives i will add two more chapters here uh, derivatives okay aod and aoi so when you are going for revision first thing you have to do is revise the formulas integration so many formulas are there so revise them and then solve pyqs okay this is what you have to do then 25th you can do rest of the chapters which are having less importance like your probability or uh, vector algebra okay then you have 3d geometry so less important chapters you can do on this day and the next day 26th you will be doing the other next chapters other less important chapters so always whenever you are trying to revise your focus should be first on doing high weightage topic you should not think that i haven't completed the low weightage topics so i will not be i will do i will give more time to low weightage topics now so that is not the correct strategy that is a mistake that many students do okay so clear i hope this time table is uh, sufficient you cannot revise more than this also if you have other if you have completed all the syllabus and you are just doing revision then you can add more topics here but i assume that all of your 100% syllabus is not completed so rest of the day you can so how much time you need to dedicate for this one so i can say here 1 hour okay here 1 hour and here 2 hour so 2 3 4 4 hours for revision next 6 hours you can use for studying the rest of the chapters the incompleted syllabus here also i'll give 1 hour okay here again 1 hour and here 1 hour okay so 3 hours so rest 7 hours you have to give for study then here mathematics you can just give here the whole day is for revision for preparing revision preparing clear i hope this schedule is clear to all of you okay next we will see that once we are doing revise revision but what we should do so that we re, re, whatever revision we have done that we can remember for a longer period of time so the best way to do is to active recall active recall means what suppose you have studied uh, uh, 
chemical reactions of haloalkanes. So, what you have to do? We have to, so I will tell you what is active recall. You have to take a plain paper like this and just mention, like for example, chemical properties of haloalkanes. With aqueous KOH, what will be the reaction? With uh, aqueous, sorry, with uh, alco uh, alcoholic KOH, what is the reaction? With AgNO2, what is the reaction? So, like this you have to with KCN, what is the reaction? So, like this you have to recall the things that you have studied. This is the best way and in this you will tend to forget many things. When you forget, you will look again and that you will remember for a longer duration of time. That is the first thing. Second one is what? Make a question list. So, now when you have solved this while revision you have solved many previous year questions and all I told you right. So, when you solve this question there will be many questions which you forgot which you did wrong. So, that you have to revise ok. When you do question list and revise them again and again those questions will be stronger in your memory. And the last one very important and this is what I felt uh, when I was a student I was doing this very frequently I was having a whiteboard in my home and every day I used to go and teach them teach to myself ok I will be explaining I will be behaving like as I am a teacher and I am uh, teaching my students. So, that is what I was doing when I was in 12th even in 10th I was doing the same thing. So, teaching teaching what you learn ok suppose I have learnt a mechanism some biology some very um, uh, difficult concept you have understood for example, uh, mitosis and meiosis you have understood. So, try to explain it to someone ok. If some friend is there that is fine, if your parents are ready to listen that is fine, your younger siblings are there that is also fine. If nobody is there teach to yourself that is also something which is very very vital and it really helps to understand the concept clearly ok. I have personally used this method and this method and it both of them helped me a lot ok. Next will come, so I have told you how to remember. Next what you should avoid during this revision, there are many things which we do during this last period in the namesake of revision and actually that is not leading us to any good result. The first mistake that you should not be doing is too much time on a single topic. So, you might be thinking that I have not studied this topic completely. So, you are spending the whole day in that particular topic. So, you should not do that. You have to just study the high weightage topics. So, please do not uh, uh, like do not uh, work hard like this, work smarter more at this point of time. Only the high weightage, most repeated, most important topics you should do ok. Next passive revision, passive revision is what sitting ok and just reading the notes that is not pass, that is not a good way of revision even that is not useful. So, please do not do passive revision, it is a complete waste of time. Skipping mock test, so we see that uh, in revision why to write mock test, but mock tests are the best way to revise ok. So, take some questions, try do some practice questions so that you will understand whether you have revised the concepts or not ok. Next uh, here I want to tell you ok fine. So, now coming to the final push that is during the last one day of the exam. So, it at this point of time what you should be doing you should be focusing on quick revision ok. Quick revision of the concepts, after that you have to solve all the wrong questions that you have done during this previous year questions, mock test, model paper, whichever question you got wrong make a list of that and revise them during the last day of the exam. And lastly focus on the factual data, suppose some values you have to remember, in biology some terms you have to remember, in physics some uh, constant values you have to remember. So, just have a look on those important constants or values factual data that is required to be remembered ok. So, basically I will give a uh, idea how you should be revising each subject ok. So, for example, chemistry is there. So, for chemistry I will tell you for organic chemistry revision is flowchart ok. To remember all the reactions you should do conversion questions, this is the best way. Okay. For physical chemistry obviously formulas okay, and numerical solving that is the revision. In inorganic chemistry just read the questions ok, you have to read each and each and every question answer and recall it you have to write mug, mug up this one. Now, coming to biology, 
biology also same thing for i believe most of the topics what you have to do you have to focus on the diagrams focus on the important con, uh, terms okay then you have to uh, learn all the like, there are so many things that happens in biology while, while when i was a student i was studying like a story okay this will happen first then this will happen then this will happen then this will happen so that cycle you should be writing in the form of a flow chart or a hierarchy process after this after this what will happen suppose you are studying menstrual cycle so what are the phases what after what what after that what is the cycle in that that all things you should be remembering after that coming to physics so physics i remember how you can do revision the best way is to make formula sheet okay formula sheet then solve questions on that and theory questions try to write and practice okay write down the theory questions you might be thinking that you have learned everything you have remembered everything but try to write down the questions okay that will really help okay now coming to maths maths we have very simple logic what we have to do just revise the formulas and solve the questions okay there is nothing else that you can do in maths okay so okay and second yes so these are the things that you should be following for the next 6 to 7 days that you have for your exam so revise it in the best possible way this is something which is which will be helpful to keep yourself uh, full with the data that you have stored okay because you might be studying for 10 to 12 hours a day your brain might not be getting enough rest to retain everything so the only way how you can retain the things is by revising again and again okay so when you are discussing with your friends also discuss about the topics discuss about the concepts so this is how you can boost your retention so all the very best students and thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe the channel